Hi everyone, Andy at Trade Skills for You, and today we're going to take a look at Ohm's Law. Now, George Ohm, or Georg, was a German physicist and uh, mathematician, best known for Ohm's Law, which shows the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance in an electrical circuit. Now, I like to compare an electrical circuit with that of a central heating system. So you've got your water sitting in your pipes and it doesn't go anywhere until the pump kicks in. So the pump produces the force or pressure to get the water moving. So you get a current flow of water. Now in an electrical circuit, the pump could be a, a battery. It's the force or pressure that gets the electrons in a conductor moving. So we get an electrical current. Now, in a central heating system, the size of the pipe is going to make a difference to how fast the water is going to flow. So if you've got a very small pipe, it's hard for the water to be pushed through. Make the pipe bigger and there's less resistance. So this is where resistance comes in. And it's the same in an electrical circuit. If you've got a smaller cable, then the resistance is high. Make the cable bigger and the resistance is less. So what uh, Georg Ohm did he is he took these three uh, components voltage current and resistance and he worked out that and this is Ohm's law it's going to get technical now that the current flow in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage applied so if you double the voltage in a circuit you will double the current but voltage and current are inversely proportional to resistance. In other words, as the voltage and the current go up, the resistance goes down. So you double the voltage, you double the current, but you halve the resistance and vice versa. If you halve the voltage, you halve the current and you double the resistance. So let's just write that on the board. And this is Ohm's law. So voltage, equals the current in a circuit multiplied by the resistance. Now, let's just put some units in here. Voltage is uh, in a, a mathematical equation is given the symbol V. And on your meter, it will show as V. So V is volts, that's the unit of voltage. Current, now current in a formula and in the wiring regulations is actually given the letter I. So you'll see I everywhere and that's the symbol for current. But the unit of electrical current, as many of you probably know, is the ampere. And we shorten that down, don't we, to amps. Resistance in a circuit is given the letter R. And the unit named after Georg Ohm in his honor is the Ohm. And it has the omega symbol. Uh, now you're gonna see that on your meter many, many times when you measure continuity and you do resistance tests. So that's Ohm's law. And we shorten that down to V equals I times R. Now, a good way of remembering this is to use what we call a T triangle. So if we draw a triangle and we put a T in here, this line is representing a division. And the, the uh, elements down here, you can imagine there's a little multiplication between them. And what you do is we put the voltage at the top, we put the current there, and we put the resistance there. Now that's called the Ohm's law triangle. And it's used for working out the values in a circuit. So if we've got a circuit and we want to know what the voltage is, well we all, this is Ohm's law, voltage is current times resistance. Good way to do it is to cover up the value that you're looking for. So we cover up V and we get V equals I times R. Now this is really useful to get the other values. Let's just say we were trying to find the current. Well, let's cover up the current and you get I equals V divided by R. And if we want to find the resistance, let's cover it up. Resistance is voltage divided by 
current. So I'll put a couple of examples up on the board and we'll have a look at uh, how we work it out. Just going to do three examples. So I've just drawn it because I like to draw things uh, to get a visual or something. So here's a simple circuit. We've got a 46 ohm resistance. I've got a current of five amps and I need to work out my voltage. So this is where I put the triangle up here, cover up the voltage and voltage is I times R. So let's write that in, voltage equals I times R. We just substitute those numbers in now. So our current is five. So voltage is five times 46 equals, if you get your calculator, I've done it previously, that comes out as 230 volts. So our voltage on that circuit would be 230 volts. Just going to change it around a bit now. So um, let's rub all that out and we'll just do one where we're working out the current now. So let's say that we've got a voltage of 110 volts. Uh, we've got a resistance of 8.46 ohms. Make that a bit clearer, there we go. And we want to work out the current. So we cover up I. Current is voltage divided by resistance. I equals V divided by R. And let's just put the figures in then. 110 divided by 8.46 equals, on your calculator, I hope you're doing this with me, um, 13 amps. That should come out as. And finally, let's work out resistance in a circuit. So we'll cover up, sorry, we'll just remove those. I might as well leave that ohms symbol in there. Let's just put some figures in here. So let's say that we have a voltage of 400 volts and we've got a current of 25 amps. And we want to know what the resistance of that circuit is. Well, we just cover up R to get the formula. R equals V over I, volts divided by current. Put the figures in, 400 divided by 25, are you doing it on your calculator? I've worked it out earlier. We get a resistance there of 16 ohms. There we go, 16 ohms. And that's how we use the Ohm's Law triangle. And anybody studying for their 2365 City and Gills will have to do these calculations at some point. So there's a slide coming up now with um, a few blanks for you to fill in. And so just pause the video when the slide comes up and then a few seconds later, the answers will come up and you can just check your answers. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.